Hi friends, we'll solve problem on variable acceleration. Just see what is given in problem. During a test, the car moves in a straight line such that its velocity is defined by v equal to 0.3 in bracket 9t square plus 2t meters per second, where t is in seconds. Determine the position and acceleration when t equal to 3 second. Some boundary condition is given, take at t equal to 0, x equal to 0. Use of such boundary condition is always to find out constant of integration. Now what equation is given? Equation of velocity is given as v equal to 0.3 90t square plus 2t. If we we'll multiply here by this 0 0.3, what we'll get here? 0 0.3 into 9, that means 2.7 t square minus 0 0.3 into 2, that is 0 0.6 t. Say this one is equation number 1. Equation of velocity is equation number 1. V can be written as, as V is a function of time t, V can be written as dx by dt because velocity is always rate of change of displacement with respect to time. That means V if I substitute here as dx by dt which is equal to 2.7 t square minus 0.6 t therefore dx equal to 2.7 t square minus 0.6 t into dt. Now, if we we'll integrate this equation, what will get relation between x and t is possible. Therefore, integrating above equation, if we we'll integrate it, integral of dx equal to integral of 2.7 t square minus 0.6 t dt. Integral of dx is x equal to 2.7 integral of t square becomes t cube divided by 3 minus 0 0.6 into integral of t is t square by 2 plus c1. Now here to find out c1 we will substitute given condition as at t equal to 0 x equal to 0. First if we will write equation of x this equation of x comes out to be 2.7 divided by 3. That means 2.7 divided by 3 comes out to be 0.9 t cube divided by 0.6 divided by 2. That means this comes out to be 0.3 t square plus c1. What condition is given at t equal to 0? x is 0. If we we'll substitute here x equal to 0 and t equal to 0, therefore c1 comes out to be 0. Therefore, second equation what you are getting here is equation of x that is position 0.9 t cube minus 0.3 t square equation number 2. First equation what is given is equation of velocity. Now, second equation what you are getting is equation of position. From equation of velocity, equation of acceleration is possible. Therefore, again I will write equation of velocity V as what you are getting 2.7 t cube, your first equation minus 0.6 t. From this equation, we will get equation of acceleration if we will differentiate this velocity with respect to time t. That means differentiating this velocity with respect to time t that is d by dt equal to 2.7 2.7 into a differentiation of t square is a 2t minus 0.6. d by dt is acceleration equal to 2.7 into 2. 2.7 into 2 comes out to be 5.4 t minus 0.6. This is equation number 3. That means, now you know equation of position, 
equation of velocity and equation of acceleration. What is asked in problem? You have to find out position and acceleration when time t equal to 3 seconds. Therefore, at t equal to 3 seconds. You have to find out position and acceleration. Therefore, we will use equation of position and equation of acceleration. Equation of position is equation number 2 already were written. So, you will get position at 3 seconds from this equation number 2 substituting time t equal to 3 seconds in equation number 2. x3 represents what? Position at 3 seconds. Therefore, suffix 3. 0.9 into t is what? 3 seconds. 3 cube minus 0.3 into 3 square. Using calculator, if we we'll find out this value, this answer comes out to be some 27 meters. This is your first answer. Similarly, same t equal to 3 second, if we we'll substitute in equation number 3, what we will get here? Acceleration at 3 second, therefore I will write a suffix 3. 5.4 into time is a 3 second minus again 0.6. If you calculate this value using calculator, this value comes out to be 16.8 meters per second square. That means you are getting both the answer. What is the position and acceleration at t equal to 3 seconds? Thank you.